I am Archbishop Gerard Tadi Lerotori, the new Archbishop of Maseru, Lesotho. Lesotho is a country completely surrounded by the Republic of South Africa. We are four dioceses in Lesotho. We are four bishops, two are our place and two are dioceses. And I belong to the Archdiocese of myself. <laughs> I'm fully, fully an oblate. And I thank God that I did start here. I was formed by the oblates. This will never go away. Like, of course, the founder, the Marzino, too, he accepted being a bishop as a service. I feel fully part of the Oblate family, and I still say wherever I am, at whatever moment, I still represent the Oblate family. I must start by saying I'm very happy to be in Rome the third time. The first time I was in Rome was 1978 as a student. I came back in 1982 to continue my studies here in Rome, but now I've come back to Rome as the Archbishop, the new Archbishop of Maseru. So this means a lot for me. Personally, as an individual, it means there's a level of responsibility that I now carry. Now, as also as an Archbishop, it also means that I now have a certain ecclesia responsibility within the church and within the congregation as well. So it means a lot for me to be here at this synod, which is the second synod dedicated to the church in Africa. Being the youngest bishop in this synod, I'm, o I'm, only, I'm only a month ordained a bishop. So I was the youngest. That experience alone, everybody was looking up to me as the little bishop. And I was very happy to be called indeed the little bishop. And I gained this ecclesial communion with the other bishops, get to know all bishops all over the continent of Africa. But in a special way, to be praying every day with the Holy Father, that was a moving experience for me to be in Rome this time. Indeed, for the first time, I had an experience of Africa that I did not know from Lesotho. I had to come to Rome, thank God, to be able to see how vast, how complicated, and how diverse the church in Africa it is, from one country to another, from one region to another. And this has been, therefore, a very learning experience for me. Africa, indeed, is a huge continent. Just an example, in terms of the language that we used, Africa clearly shows that it is, indeed, the origin of humanity, because we're using Italian, Latin, French, Spanish, Portuguese, and other African languages, of course, for the liturgy. So that has been quite an, a moving experience for me. La Africa, as the theme of this synod was reconciliation, peace and justice. Definitely what Africa has to immediately respond to, first as church, is to bear witness to reconciliation, justice and peace. And of course, the first person to do that are the very bishops of Africa that here with the Holy Father pledged to say they are going to be agents, they are going to be artisan, they are going to be therefore instruments of peace and justice. Like I told them I was coming to the Synod, they have high expectations and of course they want to know what the message of the Synod is and what therefore Will I do, therefore, to implement what was suggested here at the Synod? And immediately I can see what we are going to be doing. First within the church, but the society at large is, has like high expectations. I'm not the only bishop from the suit now, there's yet another one. So we are going to be reporting back, and from here we are going to be making plans to be able to implement what the Synod recommends. Are you, 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 are